Hello, I'm back again. We're back with Michael Jackson and we're collecting more kids. Yeah, hopefully for the last time. Oh, no, no, there's one more after this. I keep fucking forgetting. Oh, is that, is that really not there, is it? Yeah, okay. No. I'll remember that next time. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that logo there just so I know that I still need to go in there, so I know not to go back that way. And it it reminds you that you've got legs as well. Uh, yes, that's a good idea. Thing. <laughs> God knows where I'd be if I forgot I had legs. Well, you know, for a second I was wondering because every time I hit that boulder, it moves back. There's going to be something behind it. But new. So, a quick thing about those those um, doors, you can actually just press up next to it. What? Really? Yeah. Oh. Ah! Oh god. Wait, let's see. Ah! Uh, uh, I'm good. Laser beam going up his jaffers. Goldfinger! <laughs> god, half the people ain't going to know what, what we're talking about. Uh, oh, that was close! That was close. <laughs> <laughs> Over on about the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, I was not about that. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, Oh, yeah, we're doing, we're doing good. It's, it's going well, it's all right. Mm -hmm. Full health still. Yeah. What were we talking about last time? Oh, Jericho. Jericho. Oh, shit. oh, yeah, that was it. Jericho. Jericho and his fucking fuzzy. Fuzzy. Ugh. I, was, I hear people say, oh, he's a shit singer. No, I think he's pretty good. He's got he's got like a an Aussie thing going on. I like it. I don't think he's a shit singer. I just mm. think... I think he's a worse songwriter than he is a singer. Because when I used to... Like, when, after um, the End Shadow song, like I just thought I'll go back and listen to it. it there's, a, there's a chance it might be good, and I couldn't find a single song I consistently thought was good all the way through. Yeah, I mean, there are there are them, but it's definitely quality over quantity. There are there is a lot of uh, shit songs on his albums, especially yeah. early on. The the album that has Fozzy on, most songs on that album are really good. But Painless is an amazing song. Oh, shit, I, that wasn't fair. <laughs> That what wouldn't fair. Yeah, that wouldn't fair. I can speak English. <sighs> I speak not English. <laughs> Look at these spiders. I swear there hasn't been a single kid in any of the ones with spiders in as well. They know better. Yeah. <sighs> Why can't you do that attack in the air? Yeah, the, the, the kind of like range of your hit, hitboxes are so off. Mm -hmm. I'm jump over that one again. Oh, fuck! I forgot that was even a, an option. So at least now we know that the, 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 they'll be in the middle bit. Yeah. So there's that one that you, you waited to do, mm -hmm. and then at the top. Two left. I've been a bit nice near the start. Yeah. Uh, I don't know because um, that's a, there's only one place I haven't been now. Oh, there's that that spider. Logo. Move, 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 move. I'm trying. He ain't gonna, he ain't gonna kill it. He's moved. Yeah. I, I was trying. I was just trying to move. It wouldn't uh, let me. I need to figure out how to get up there. Oh fuck you, mate! So that's uh, what, yeah, I've got the legs, and then yeah. Just it, yeah. Stop setting the metal last. Well, you've already gone past it now. You might as well get it. I don't know how to get up there. I didn't. Uh, I didn't break the wall intentionally. It just kind of fell oh. by itself. I don't know how to get you, it. Yeah, there. you ain't gonna get back there, you might as well just get it, get it watch it there. Uh, it's not even there, there, there anyway. Oh, okay, great. Same point we were. I don't know how to get that one. Huh. Yeah. Maybe try, yeah, it must be somewhere at the, at the, at the, the start bit. I can't see any way to get through. Oh, hmm. well, at least we've got good music. <laughs> all the 16-bit glory. Yeah, I like 16-bit versions of uh, music. It's okay, but it was only like that because they couldn't do any better at a time. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Ah. Is it this way? So, it'll be, yeah, down down there. Ah, yeah. okay. One, one down, at least. And I think the other one is behind that. Yeah. Oh, right. There wasn't a kid in there. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. All right, go, go, go. Yeah. yeah. Great. Oh, oh. Where's the last one? I don't know. Oh, probably this one. Oh, yeah, you fingering, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Stick to what you're good at. No. All right, game up. Uh, all right. It's, it, I'm sure it's that one behind that guy. Oh come on! No, on don't make me do all that again. Uh, right, I'm, I'm going for those ones first. Did I go on the left to get there? 
I can't remember. Uh, Wait. Oh. oh, this is your last life. Do you want to reload or not? Yeah, fuck it, do it. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah I know, at least I know which ones I missed before now. That's really funny since I made that checkpoint, so. I'll... Oh, God. Yeah, it might be easier yeah, to get the, get the annoying ones first. Yeah. Damn it, how did I miss that? Right at the start. Yeah. Well, uh, either way, I mean, yeah, I think, I think, yeah, good. Then we know where they all are. Then. Oh my God, all right, yeah. Should be, should be smooth sailing from here. Should be smooth criminals from all here. <laughs> uh oh, J <laughs> almost jinxed it there. So it's the one on the right, yeah. Ah! I'm gonna get hit when I come back out now. Probably. Uh, so when it comes to Marvel movies. You know how everyone's like burnt out on them and stuff. Do you hear, hear the thing about? I, it? I was burnt out years before everyone else oh, was. I know. Uh, I, was, I carried on watching them just to stay relevant since everyone was obsessed with. That's yeah, what we're gonna. Well, say. Like, you know, don't go, don't go there. It's not. It's not. It's not. not yeah, I'm just killing this guy. Uh, Stor uh, well, Scorsese. What's he called? Yeah, that guy. Scorsese. Yeah, that big one, filmmaker. Yeah, he, he he has talked so much shit about Marvel movies over the years. Mm. <laughs> I, I always got where it, it's. I always got where it's coming from. I think he was uh, going a bit too far, but. Most of them just, just, oh, just what is they just it? Feel like they feel too self-aware. Feel like it's it, a lot of them feel like the whole movie is just an inside joke. Like, yeah, this is really silly, but we're doing it anyway. Ha ha. ha. Don't, 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 it's not in there. Remember? No. Oh, yes. It's, it's, it's above it. Above it. All right. I need to go some no, no, I don't. Yeah. That was why I said that. Well, no, no, you said something recently about like basically. No, he said something else. Yeah, it's just something about. I don't know. Like people, you know, he, he hates how they're not real movies of some, you know, that that kind of shit. It's just that thing again where he's basically saying that he wants to bring proper movies back and stuff like that, you know, instead of everyone seeing the same thing all the time. Yeah. And the problem with that is all he ever made is gangster movies for ages. I know he's mm -hmm. done odd other movies, but it's like it, it's all well and good him being like, oh yeah, people are sick of comic book movies, just the same shit over and over again. If he didn't make as many movies as there are MCU movies, people would be saying the same thing about his movies. Yeah, probably. True. I guess because the most, I think it's just because most comic book movies, well, most Marvel MCU movies all feel the same. Yeah. You still have different tones sometimes, but again, it'll just feel <sighs> too comedic. Too much focus on. <sighs> yeah. Jokes. And it's the same kind of comedy most of the time as well. Yeah. It's like you can tell that a lot of the jokes weren't written specifically for those characters. Mm hmm. Just like, I get it. it was fun, but it just got old after a while. The thing is, I remember like with Thor, like people were like, "Oh, he's the, you know, he's the funny one now," and that's only because they didn't know what the fuck to do with him. Because mm. if they did, didn't like the comics, it'd be boring as fuck. Yeah. I'm not saying the Thor comics are boring, but it's like, as a character, Thor doesn't have that much else to him. So people ain't gonna have like, people ain't gonna watch loads of movies of him being all like over the top Shakespearean kind of talking and shit. No. So he I, is I, the only one that's hit. he is he is the only. Uh... Avenger that's actually managed to make me cry though. <laughs> His performance that bad? <laughs> no, no, in uh, the scene in uh, Endgame when he goes back and uh, sees his mum before she died. Oh so that yeah. That whole scene just proper makes me tear up. Uh, yeah. Quite I, good acting there. I still think I like the Thor movies are pretty good for the most part. Yeah, I mean, I I, I actually really liked Thor too, and most people seem to hate that movie. Yeah. Mm. Just like that, yeah. You know, him and uh, him and Loki teaming up. I just, yeah, you know, really liked him. I quite like the villain, but that guy, what? I liked him in every movie as well. What Chris Rockelson? Was that the, the elf guy? Yeah, Chris Rockelson. Was that Doctor, him? The Doctor. Yeah. Oh, all right, it wasn't who I thought it was. Who I thought think it, it was. I thought it was the guy who played the main bad guy in Hellboy Two and Blade Two. The former singer of the band Bross or whatever it was. I can't remember his name. Uh, Luke Luke Goss. I think it's Luke Goss. I think that's his name. No, I don't know who that is. But, oh, really? You've, you've seen it before. You've seen both of those movies. Yeah, I probably have, but... Mm. Yeah, that was definitely Chris Rockleson, because he talks shit about the movie afterwards. Oh, wow, yeah, I guess, so. I guess it has been a while since I've seen it, but I still liked it. Uh, you barely been paying attention to this. You're already on The Last Kid. Well, yeah, you know, when you go into Ultra <laughs> Instincts, you just stop. You play much... Most games I play much better when I'm not paying oh, attention. Okay, I'm going to... If when you get out of this room, I'm going to save state this oh, shit. Please do. As I said, this is the most annoying level on the game. Uh, what's the boss like? Well, I can't remember. Oh, okay, that's a good sign. Da fuck it, I'm dancing. <laughs> dance, if it doesn't work, then I won't. No dance. 
Yeah, well, yeah, we, we can always go back to it. Mm. So what would you say is your favourite Marvel movie of all time? Uh, Some strong contenders. I... I would have to say Endgame is probably the best one. Not Endgame, what was the first one? The one before? Infinity War. That one, yeah. That's fine, Infinity War was pretty good. I did actually really also like Endgame, but I also didn't like a lot of it. Hmm. It's kind of some bits, bits of the first half. Just a bit, eh. Dragged a bit. Yeah. I actually like the first half more than the second half, to be honest. Oh, I, 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 like, I like the first half, I like the last bit. I didn't like the bit in the middle, where it's just them sitting around doing fuck all. Yeah. Woo, did it! Cool. It's hard to tell. What was my what was my favorite Marvel movie of all time? I mean, for a, for a long time, I said Blade Two, I and mean, it's still definitely one of. Oh, my I thought favorites. you said like MCU movie. No, I just meant Marvel movies in general. Oh, then MCU movie movies. My favorite would probably be. Oh God, it's gonna be uh, No Way Home by far. So, I always forget that's an MCU movie because yeah, it's like <laughs> it's got all the other people in it. Mm. Oh, well, let me just uh, save state this with that. It's like the it's like the uh, only one I've willingly watched more than once. No, I, I've I've seen the first Iron Man several times, but that just came on Netflix now as well. I, I really want to watch it. I wanted yeah. to watch that again I'm so actually, much. I'm actually do that. So I, I loved it the first time I saw it. When I saw it the second time, I loved it even more than that. Yeah, I've only seen it once. Mm. No, I hate when people, people, people I know I hate when people say, "Oh, it was only good because of all the fan service." Well, it's not just that. It also had some of the best acting in it. Yeah. Uh, oh, Willem Dafoe as the Green Goblin, that yeah, was better than he was in the first movie. Yeah, he, he was good in the first movie, but he took it to a whole other, another level in that one. Yeah. Like so many of them. I mean, uh, Jamie, Jamie Foxx was way better in this uh, this movie as Electro than he was in The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Yeah, oh, to get all there, just knock the rock back a bit more. Okay, I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> it's an example of Ultra Instinct working against me. <sighs> but, yeah, no, I, I kind of agree. I think it's definitely one of the most fun to watch. Mm. Like, did you watch um, Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness? Uh, yeah, uh, I actually really liked that one. Yeah, I really liked that one. I've rewatched that since, and I actually liked it better the second time mm. as well. So, before it was a uh, before it was Doctor Strange, I really didn't like uh, oh, Benedict come come as uh, an actor. Yeah, it wasn't until after he played Doctor Strange, uh, Doctor Strange, that I warmed up to him a bit more. Did you ever watch the Sherlock series? Uh, no. I didn't watch it because I didn't like him. Ah, oh, fair <laughs> there's, enough. There's, sometimes there's just something about someone's face that just puts you off it. And back then I was like, your face looks really stretched, I don't like you. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Nah, that's fair. There's a, there's a guy that I don't know what his name is. He's a he's a British sort of comedian slash actor, and I hate him so much and I don't know what his name is. Oh, gosh. Uh, Not John Bishop, because he's awful as well, but... What has he been in? <laughs> He's. He, did you watch the new Alan Partridge series at this time? Uh, unfortunately, no. I do really want to, but it's just hard to get hold of because I don't uh, have a way to watch BBC things. Ah, uh, okay. <sighs> Legally. I mean, <laughs> I play as free. Is, is it? Yeah. Oh, it, uh, uh, yeah. You just got to be careful when you don't have a like a license for that type of thing. I don't know. Well, I mean, technically, don't you need a license to go on YouTube? Uh, no. I think streaming. You're not. Uh, allowed. Oh, okay. I don't know, it's a weird thing. Well, do 100% know. If anyone asks, I definitely have a license, and yeah. I have done for the last 18 years. Pro pro <laughs> yeah, pro probably shouldn't be talking about this while we're doing this, just in case, you know. <laughs> well, yeah. they, 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 they um, take our TV license off us for streaming Michael Jackson. Yeah, well, but me there, you know. Any excuse to get more money off you. Uh, I don't yeah. know that subject. Nah, nah. Oh, because we're talking about Spider-Man. No way home. Uh, but yeah, no, it was a really good movie. Yeah, I, 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 to be honest, I'd probably say the same if it was yeah, MCU movie. MCU movie. It's yeah, that. I really hope we get a amazing Spider-Man three. So I, I really like um, Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man. It's just a shame he, he the movies he was in weren't very good. The thing is, when I first watched Amazing Spider-Man one, I hated it, and then number two, I didn't mind that one. Like lizards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was just, it was just awful. Like everything about it, I hated how like, the suit looked. I hated how over the top dark energy it tried to be but wasn't mm. for a superhero that its whole thing is meant to be is funny uh, uh, yeah I think the main thing I, I like from the trailer is that he actually acted like Spider-Man like being really cocky and just talking down to people who was beaten up whereas I never never got that vibe from Tobey Maguire he always felt really just when he was trying to be funny it was cringe yeah he was trying too hard and it just it never felt fluid to me I mean, I, I was a nostalgia when it comes to him, but I never thought he was. I think you missed one, but I never thought he was an amazing Spider-Man. Oh. Yeah, you missed that one. That, that whole. Oh, 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 behind that as well. Ah. 
Oh, that's a shame one. The first level, there wasn't one behind the uh, yeah. waterfall. Uh, but yeah, the, the hole to the left of that is what you missed. Ah, cool. Thank you. But, um, yeah, the thing is with Andrew Garfield, though, is he's like that even when he's Peter Parker. Because they're still trying to make yeah, out he's, yeah, he's the dorky nerd and shit. And then he's like, he looks like a fucking like a model, and then he's like trying to be, he, he's acting all cool, yeah, he's on a skateboard he, and all that shit. Yeah, I've always said that. He's a really good Spider Man, but his Peter Parker needed a bit of work. Whereas, um, Tobey Maguire was really good at Peter Parker, I just didn't buy him a Spider Man. Yeah. Uh, people always say, um, I can't remember, uh, Tom Holland. Tom, Tom Holland. He's yeah. like a cool blend of the two. I was like, I, yeah. I don't think he's, 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 I think he's just okay at both. He's, I don't think he's a better Peter Parker than Tobey Maguire, and I don't think he's a better Spider-Man than Andrew Garfield, but he's kind of reaches a better balance of the, glad balance of the two. Yeah, it's more believable, I think. Yeah. The, I don't know. Weird noises outside. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. He definitely, yeah. He, he, he has got the kind of... He's got a bit of both, but... Yeah. I, I do think his funnier bits are funnier than most of Andrew Garfield's funny bits. Yeah. But I think a lot of his are more situational, so it's not him being funny, it's just the, it's just the writing. Yeah, true. I forgot what we're talking about now. Uh, Tom Holland. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tom, yeah. I think you've missed quite a few doors, by the way. I have no idea. I'm not paying attention. <laughs> uh, so I think you're doing alright, to be fair. Probably, it's probably fine. Let's carry yeah. on. Let's carry on. So, Tommy McGuire's funniest Spider Man moment still wasn't from one of the movies. Oh, it was from game. the game. Yeah, the, the cushion. Throw <laughs> <laughs> into the shocker of the first uh, PS2 Spider Man game. Yeah. Uh, that was a good game. He never, like, uh, you know, uh, what's it called? Andrew Garfield never voiced him in, the, in any of the games. Really? Not even in the first Amazing. I don't think he did, no. I thought he did, but. Uh, maybe, I don't know. maybe he did. I thought it was the guy who played Donatello in Ninja Turtles. Hmm. It's a shame that uh, the game doesn't get more credits. The first Amazing Spider Man game I really liked. The second one was a pile of shit, even though Carnage was in it. But... Wait, 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 there's a person there. Was it? Oh, God. Flipping background. Oh, i wash my health. Oh god. Oh fuck. Do you want me to save state? Uh, hang on. I think, yeah, uh, kill them. Yeah, go on. <laughs> kill them with a giant rock. I don't have to do all that again. Even though I don't remember what I did. Oh god. Okay, if it's. Since you were count, uh, count, only counting MCU before, what's your just favourite all time? Favourite Marvel movie in general? Um. Like, I want to say. Oh, actually, you know what? X Men: Days of Future Past. Oh God, yeah, okay. I keep I forget X Men movies also count as Marvel. <laughs> and I, I'm split between that and Logan because Logan's a better movie, but X Men: Days of Future Past is a better comic book movie. Yeah, yeah. Logan's a weird one because I did really like Logan, but I just thought he was let down in the villain department. Yeah, that's that's fair. Yeah, mm. the villain was nothing basically. Yeah, I mean, it was just a talking guy with one arm and then an evil Wolverine that didn't talk. Yeah. <laughs> So, you're looking forward to Deadpool? <laughs> uh, I'm curious about it. I do st I do still need to see the second Deadpool, though. <laughs> that was a movie I didn't bother to see. I've never been overly keen on Deadpool. Very typical. I, I like 4 4 jokes, but when you're just doing them continuously, they just lose it, lose their charm. When yeah. You're doing them continuously, it just gets old fast. And yeah, I was a bit, when the second one was announced, they wasn't going to be R rated. I was just like, yeah, I don't know, I don't care. But considering Hugh Jackman's going to be in. Uh, Deadpool 3, I might have to go back and get the second one a go. The second one's okay. Mm. It's fine, I guess. I, I don't like Deadpool as a character. Uh, Some of his comics are actually funny, I'll give him that, but Deadpool is 100% one of those characters that the fans have ruined him. Oh, yeah, just every con you see, like, what, 500 Deadpools? Yeah. It's like the jokes, oh, Shimmy Chong goes, yeah, it's fucking hilarious. Uh, I don't know. Probably doesn't help as well that obviously I really like Deathstroke and just made it's just like a rip off and then got way more popular. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna feel a bit sorry about that. <sighs> Thing is that a lot of people thought he was based on Spider Man and I was like, he's, I mean, he's clearly not. Eh? Well just because of the red outfit. God, yeah. the amount of these spider caves I've been in. There's not been a single <laughs> kid in them. Oh I'm still good. Okay. Oh, oh, alright, I stand corrected. <laughs> I mean, it's not an entire spider cave, I think there's going to be some zombies at the Yeah, I can see them, yeah. Oh. Poking their head out. Mm -hmm. Shoot, fly! Oh, it's going well, it's going well! Yep, oh god! Oh god! Why can zombies... 
Why do they move like zombies, but they flip and jump higher than people can? Well, zombies are getting inconsistent. I think you already put the Yeah, I realise. <laughs> Second I clicked on it. Uh, too late now. Double down on this. Uh, it's, going, it's going well. Ooh. I'm not going to say anything. No, nothing in there. What were we talking about? Uh, oh, yeah, MCU. And, uh, yeah, X-Men. Yeah. Dates are really good movie. The thing with Deadpool 3, though, from all the, well, I say leaks, they basically just announced half of it. Like, no. it's just, it's, it is literally just going to be cameo fest. Eh. At this point, I don't really care. Oh, oh, fuck. Sake. So, let, let me, let me load it. Full free. Uh, Which way did I, yep. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah. if that happens again, just fucking carry on because I've still got two lives. Yeah, but you've got an entire another level to go. Yeah, we'll, we'll worry about. We'll, we'll burn that bridge when we get to it. <laughs> uh, We're not going to finish this game, are we? Probably not. I wasn't expecting us to. We'll just rage, give up, and. Mm. But I'm doing worse than I did before. Uh, be more patient. X Men. Yeah, go ahead, come here. Oh my god! <laughs> Hang on, reload it again. You're gonna dodge those fucking spiders. <laughs> the thing is, Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness was meant to be all like, look all these cameos and multiverse, and that was like that thing to do it. But it's like, it didn't have that many. No. Like, no. like that guy. Stop hiding me on a fucking. Oh my god. Alright, and you need to be quick this time, because being slow did not help. What cameos were in the movie? Uh, okay, spoilers for if anyone cares about that movie, but yeah, so you got Black Bolt from the Thunderbolts, you got Professor X from the X Men. Oh, yeah, of course. Patrick Stewart. Uh, you got. Oh, fuck, what have I done? Uh oh. Oh! No, still good. Um, yeah, you got. Yeah, what else was it? Uh, British Captain America, what's her face? Captain Grey. Yeah, Peggy Carter, she was in it, and. Yeah, who cares? Mm. And yeah, I, I don't remember who else was in it. Uh, oh, F Mr. Fantastic was in it, wasn't he? No, yeah, I, yeah, I really like the actor. Uh, who played him. Yeah, the guy who played the uh, main the dad in uh, God, what's the movie called? Quiet Place. That was it. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, he seemed cool. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if he, he actually was uh, Mr. Fantastic, I, I'd be up for that. I'd be fine with that. Ooh, you know who? To watch that. You know who's rumored to be Mr. Fantastic? Uh, no. Matt Smith. Really? I don't mind. He's got a stretchy face anyway. <laughs> yeah, but come on. I, I just can't imagine Weasel Face as the smartest <laughs> man in the world. No offense to Matt Smith. I do like. I, I like him in. Face. I like. I like him in some things. I, I don't know. He plays the Doctor pretty well. Yeah, but everything else has been in. I don't think. He, wait, no. Oh no. Actually, I stand corrected. He, I thought he was really good in House of Dragon. Uh, nice, I don't see that. Oh yeah, it's probably not worth it. It's a it's a good show, mixed at best, but I I really liked Matt Smith in it. Everyone Just, said that he was really good in Morbius, though. No, oh, I guess neither of us can really say anything about that. He's, he's had a lot of roles and things I'm not been keen on, like he played flipping Skynet and Terminator Genesis. Yeah, that sounds awful. Just in theory. Yep. Was not a fan. Oh god. You want me to I'm say say it? Uh, yeah, go on it. Struggling to remember all the other things I've seen in him, but no, he's okay. Wasn't he in like was it Kingsman or something, something like that? I've never seen Kingsman. It's on my long list of shit I need to see. Nah, I ain't seen it either. Mm. Da, 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 da. God. Well, I mean, I think he's a good actor. I've yeah, never, I've never he's definitely gotten better. He's never been bad. I don't know. It took it took me a while to uh, finally uh, watch his Doctor Who episodes because I was such a die-hard fan of David Tennant that I just couldn't see anyone else as him. Mm. <sighs> but yeah, once I finally got around to it, I was like, yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, uh, the problem I had with him as, as the Doctor is like, a lot of people when they first become the Doctor, like, they're like, oh, I'm the edgy Doctor, I, I'm really angry and really crazy and all And then he just like, chills out after like an episode or two. Yeah. He was pretty nuts for uh, not as in quirky, weird, stupid from the start. <laughs> yeah, I think he was, he was he was good as the Doctor. Yeah. Oh, I've got a fucking spider. No matter, no matter how that's taken off me. Ooh. Oh. I can't remember which, what direction I've been now. <laughs> Finger poke of doom. Yeah, I, oh. I, I don't I don't know where I need to go now. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna kill you when you get out, yeah. Probably, but yeah. Yolo. Oh God. 
on that one. Ah! That's how old fans, I think. <laughs> <laughs> all, 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 the, no, all, all the kids said for a bit. about 10 years ago. Yeah. Uh, now, now all the kids who... If, if we, all of our two fans, our kids, we're watching, they'll be like, what the hell does YOLO mean? Oh, uh, some recent homework for I think you just went in those two, by the way. <sighs> I don't know. Well, I don't know. Nah. I'm starting to lose track now. Okay, I know that I don't have to go back that way. There's definitely one here, yeah. Okay. Oh, Spitters. But now, uh, we were close to the end, to be fair. Man, nah, people are probably going to be so sick of Michael Jackson's music after this. Or at least the 8-bit versions or 16-bit. Never! Oh my god. Okay, have I been in this one? Uh, uh, one way to find out. I mean, the zombies are still dancing, I'll give them that. Mm. <laughs> They're still chilling. So. Dance till they were dead. So who would you say, you, I'm guessing Doc, uh, Doctor Who, your favourite Doctor is still um, Tenet? Uh... Of all time, probably Tannen. Second is uh, great. Forgot his name. Big about it? Uh, no. Eccleston. No, he also played Radagast in the Hobbit. Sylvester McCoy. Yeah, that's it. Sylvester McCoy. It's probably my favourite. Ironic because he dressed a lot like Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I've never not really watched enough of his series to like kind of yeah. get into. It. I've not really watched much of. I mean, they're series. hit and miss, just like all of the classic Doctor Who is. But I still, I still really like him. Hmm. And it also helps, obviously. I watched the uh, American TV movie oh. when I was a kid, and he's in the start of that. Yeah. Uh, I hate to say that's the most I've seen of him. Like I've, 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 I've seen, I saw an episode of him where it was, it was. I've seen like a lot of flashback things as well, like you know, like people on YouTube making videos and stuff. Yeah. But as far as full episodes, I think I watched. It was in like a Doctor Who. I don't know if it's a movie or something. It was like a five-part special thing that was on TV years ago. No. Yeah. It's just him and the Daleks and some shit. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds like the one I'm thinking of. Um, uh, I, again, if you do go back and watch it, just bear in mind, yeah, obviously a lot of it's going to be very dated. I, I thought that um, Ace looked like a cool companion though. Yeah, Ace is really cool. She's probably my second favorite companion. Really hard to beat. Donna Noble. She was Ace was definitely the most badass. I think. Yeah. Uh, it's not very often you get to see. Uh, a companion beat a Dalek to death with a baseball bat. <laughs> <laughs> she came back for the special, by the way. I don't know if you saw it or not. Which special? The most recent one where they, uh, where uh, the woman doctor, whatever her name is. Oh yeah, I can't, can't remember her name. Jodie Whittaker. That's it. Uh, all I watched of that was the um, just David Tennant bit at the end. Oh okay. Yeah, I haven't watched it in years. Uh, yeah, that was the last episode of Doctor Who. Pardon me. <laughs> the last episode of oh god, which door was it? It was the last one. Yeah. The last was... episode of Doctor Who I watched when it was actually on TV was the Capaldi episode where he goes to Robin Hood thing. No, I think I skipped that one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, a year or two later, I watched a bunch of them on Netflix, but I never actually got up to date. I didn't even get to the start of the uh, of Jodie Whitt Whittaker's episodes. Oh, okay. Did you watch any with the one? I can't remember a name. The. Uh... Oh, Maki, I think her name is. Ooh. She was the the last companion of um, of uh, Peter Capaldi. Uh, no, <laughs> didn't get that far. I really liked her. I think he still had Clara. Yeah, I, I really liked her as a companion. I, I got kind of annoyed the fact that that was his last series because she was only in one series. She was really good, and he was really good in that last one as well. Because the biggest problem with um, his stories is he was never really the main character in all of them. Yeah. So I just kind of went off topic after that. I never got to that episode if you wanted me to. The reason why I carried on watching it on Netflix because there, there was a particular Capaldi episode you really wanted me to watch. Yeah, Heaven Sent, yeah. Yeah, that was fucking it. And I never got to that point. I watched so many of them that I think it, it, it got taken off Netflix, so I couldn't carry on. Oh, that's so annoying. It was a while ago now, but yeah, I got very close to that episode. <laughs> that episode's so good. Mm. If anyone's got my DVD, I don't know. Well, to be fair, they're still on BBC iPlayer. Which is free. No. Yeah, yeah, but it's a whole fucking. I want to get caught. No, 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 I might get it. So what's the worst that could happen? Okay, fine. Come watch it over my house. <laughs> all right, all right, okay, yeah, I'll come over and watch it there at some point. That's really funny. I talk about Clara as well because she, she's in that um, Netflix show I'm watching. Uh, it's kind of watching at the minute. The Sandman that I mentioned the other day. Oh, okay. She's in that. She's only been in one episode, but still. What's her name again? Um. I have no idea. <laughs> 
I know it. I've met her before, so... Oh, cool. Yeah, America, uh, the London Convention years ago. Hmm. Jenna Coleman, that's her name. Oh, uh, okay. Cool. Yeah, no, she's really nice as a person, yeah. I, and she, to be honest, she's a good actress. It's just, I just hated the fact that she took over Doctor Who to the point where it wasn't about him anymore. Mm. Impossible girl. Yeah, impossible to watch. No. She wasn't that bad. <laughs> no, she wasn't that bad. It was just, I just got sick of seeing her. Yeah. I'd rather look at her than her. Piper. Never liked really like Piper. <laughs> People have got so against her in the recent years, it's so funny. I was never keen on her, even back then. I, I, just, I just loved David Tennant so much that I could look past her. As soon as she left, I could... Yeah, let me say stay here. Well... Yeah, okay. As soon as she left, even though the episode where she did leave was like really sad and heartwarming, I was, I was still glad when she got uh, someone else. Oh, Doomsday, her. yeah. I liked Martha, Martha way more than her. <sighs> oh, I, I didn't like watching Martha. It's behind the waterfall. Oh, okay. You didn't like Martha, why not? Because, oh, it was Life to me! No, I think you've already got it then. You went, we went the bottom route first, so it'll be, no, up, up, no. Up, it'll be at the middle bit, yeah. So, go right and then up. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I didn't like Martha because watching her is so depressing because it's basically just a girl who's obsessed with a guy who doesn't like her. Did, did, really? Yeah, I mean, Clara was fucking obsessed with... Uh, Matt Smith though, she's like, oh, I don't find him attractive anymore now he's regenerated. He's like, well, the lizard companion had a massive go at her. He's still the doctor, just doesn't look the same. Uh. No, no, I mean, like, the whole Martha story is basically David Tennant being, well, yeah, David Tennant as a doctor being all like, oh, I miss Rose! Oh, uh, no, yeah. And it's like, yeah, so? Like, she's basically just like a, oh, oh God, God, right, I'm, I'm safe saying that. Fuck, no. Stress was ranked to 11. Alright, uh, let's finish this next time. Yeah, he, he did talk about... Uh, uh, yeah, sorry, I digress. We'll, uh, we'll go peace. back to Doctor Who. Yeah, <laughs> peace!